So Epic Games just released an official list with all of the recommended steps everyone should do in order to improve your PC stability and performance here in Season 4 guys because you all know the game is crashing, you have just simply freezes while being in a fight or low FPS so therefore we're going to go through every single step and I'm going to show you as well guys what you can do additionally. But in the first place guys please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because I'm trying to give away a GTX 1080 at 60k subscribers and we're super close. And for the first tip guys we can now see keep drivers up to date and I already told you in a previous video video that there is one specific point every single one of you should do. Let's just say as an example guys that you are on an Nvidia GPU or an AMD one you're just gonna search up the official Nvidia list with all your official drivers and you can see you're gonna type in exactly which type of GPU you have. For me it's a GeForce RTX 30 series and I've got exactly a 3070 Ti. So therefore what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my operating system, I'm going to type in the language and the Windows driver type. I want the standard one, not like any driver where they tried out some stuff. I want a really stable one. And what you guys actually have to do now is check maybe even a bunch of those who are a little bit older. Some specific drivers just simply didn't receive the current update which they need, which causes so much stutter or even FPS drops or the game crashing. The same as you should try out a driver which is super up to date. You should maybe also try out one which is even like a year older guys because these are running in general more stable so let's just say I would maybe try out this one here from the 19th of July 2021 you know you're just simply gonna click onto it and then you're already here on the download side can download it reinstall it and just simply try it out and then next up of course guys we have compare between DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 but there I gotta admit guys so many people have a PC where they just simply have to play on performance mode instead of like DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 or otherwise they can't reach maybe 144 or 240 hertz and yeah the performance mode has been so long in the game that it's actually been like a super super reliable game mode even though it's still in the beta theoretically but so many people rely on the specific game rendering mode that's why I really do think that's like kind of a bad tip to give the Fortnite community because there are probably hundreds of thousands of players who can't play on anything besides the performance mode so therefore why should they put this on here and for the final and last step guys we have toggling on allow multi-threaded rendering but I feel like every single one of you who has like a CPU which kind of goes into this criteria of having multiple threads something like a four core eight thread CPU they are 100% are utilizing this already because if you're not guys you're missing out on so much performance you can find this straight up in your Fortnite settings make sure to enable it but what I would recommend you is to at least have four logic logical cores and four threads. Then you can of course utilize this if you have still a CPU which has only two cores and maybe four threads I still wouldn't recommend it because you should really have at least four cores on its own on your PC to actually run this and yeah actually gain like a performance boost. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if so please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and as mentioned at 60k I'm giving away a 1080 so therefore share this video with your friends whatsoever and don't forget to join the discord and until next time stay awesome I'm out peace.